how are you guys? Nice seeing you again. Nice yeah. you too. After it's been a while. Nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Nine years. yeah. Um, I should say that um, I saw Cole a bunch of times, like in the middle of. We we saw each other, we seen each other, we bumped into each other a few times uh, throughout the years, throughout these nine, uh, these nine years in several places. Last time being at uh, Paredes Quarter when you guys played, like oh, yeah. four years ago, five years ago, uh, four to five years ago, uh, four to five, four to five. Yeah. yeah. So and uh, I w we, I was just uh, heading out of. Um, of a show that was I was watching. And you were just coming outside. This I, I'm 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 going somewhere with this. <laughs> uh, and you were just coming out, and I was like, "Hey, Cole, uh, I, uh, we we were on my show like years ago and stuff like that." So, oh great, um, did you see the new songs? And I was like, "Yeah, they were really good." So, uh, but they didn't I, like watch hearing stuff once because you were trying out the Deceiver songs before releasing this, the album. So. Um, Listening to the songs once, having heard the songs once, like on stage, like they're great, but you don't really realize stuff. Okay. And then the album comes out, and like, whoa, these are really good, guys. So congratulations. Thank so you. So now I can give you an honest opinion. <laughs> Five years later, do like I do like them. <laughs> I think that like when when is is our was out, like I I I was back then. I was trying to do like top tens for the show, like top ten albums. Albums and stuff like that, and it was on. If not, if not the first, if not the first, I think it was record of the year for us. Um, so I was, I was thinking, like, how oh, are these guys going to do something as good? And then you did. <laughs> and then, so fantastic. Thank you. So, what's feel like coming back? I guess. Well, it is cool to come back, and uh, that record did really well in Europe, where people got really excited about it. Uh -huh. And it's fun to come back like years on now, and like see all this like excitement and all the people singing the words and everything. It's kind of uh -huh. crazy. We uh -huh. didn't expect that really. Do you um, and um, do you remember anything from the last time from uh, from Paredes Quarter? Because it's um, it's just like a slope kind of amphitheater, right? <laughs> yeah. Fell on the stairs on the way to oh. see, uh, and you will know us by the trail of dead. Yeah. They were on the show, sweet guys, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are very nice. Yeah. We were going to watch them, and then Colin fell. There were those stairs. Oh. Are you were you all right? Yeah, it hurt really bad. There were those stairs where, like, inexplicably, there's like gaps between all the stairs, and my foot went right through the gap and like cut up my leg. But it was all good. I know those stairs, and that's not that doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> my memory uh, is that the show is really good, though. It's funny because I, I didn't even remember falling until you pulled that picture up, and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, they did. So I played. We uh, have excellent pictures of them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That was like a. Uh, of course. You know, it was obviously amazing to watch Slow Dive, and uh -huh. it was an honor to see them on the side of the stage, like, taking pictures. Uh -huh. uh, was there any, like... I'm sorry, because hair is in my eye. Uh, oh, if there's, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. But there's slow dive. There's dive. There should be a band called Slow, like in a different typography, like typed out differently. And they should, you should get together with them. So unless they don't suck. Unless, unless they suck, then don't. Yeah. Yeah. Even if they do, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Like yeah. even for like the fun of it, like yeah. slow dive. There you go. <laughs> the slow dive are playing tonight. <laughs> yeah, they can tour with us whenever yeah, they want. Exactly. They can tour with you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. starts off with I think possibly my f favorite of the record Horset I f find it amazing I love that song uh, it's Ben's favorite uh, is okay. it yeah yeah mm. 
Okay, good. <laughs> good. Uh, why do you like it so much? Mm. Explain your taste to us. <laughs> I don't really know. It just like, maybe it was one of the first ones that started coming together like in the studio. Uh -huh. And a lot of times it just like, I don't know, it feels like emotional to me. Uh -huh. It's like a very kind of emotional song. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's it's, a good arc. It, yeah. it does have a good arc and I love the, 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 the coda, if you can say oh, that it's a coda. The yeah. yeah. So good. The yeah. coda. Oh, the nice. coda, yes. Now we're speaking uh, uh, <laughs> proc terms. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, but um, Horsehead, you know, what's, it's, um, okay, so serious stuff out of the way first. So you guys, have you guys changed like distortion or amps or something? Because it sounds more, mm, you know, like more, these guys have invested like their time and effort into making shit sounds really good. Yeah, we worked a lot on it, a lot. Uh, like all way, every show. Uh, did you change amps? We changed amps, but now we're back to the ones we had before, but. Oh, okay. But uh, that just it, happened. Did you guys use any like different heads or, or pedals and stuff like that? Because this is my own show, I also I also play guitar, so uh, no. we can just say, we can ask whatever we want yeah, about yeah. gear. I so, had a big and old I'm Marshall interested. stack. Oh, you know sorry, I mean? what? A big old Marshall stack. Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't me at all. I felt like uh, somebody else. Here. Really? Yeah. Tom Morello. Tom Morello. Tom Morello. Yeah. It felt like Tom Morello. Yeah. <laughs> If you plug no pedals straight into that thing and just like close your eyes and play, it is Rage Against the Machine. Oh! <laughs> it's tight. I've, I've, when, when I used to have a band like 15 years ago, uh, we also had uh, um, uh, Marshall, Marshall Stacks in the studio, and I felt like I needed nothing else. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's so good. Yeah. That's what, exactly what you're saying. Exactly yeah, exactly. but it was like, I forget what was wrong with it. Oh, it just broke, right? I think it broke. Yeah. It broke? Okay. Or the stack was too much, but there's no reason that I need that much. You uh -huh. know, I'm not like Jimi Hendrix or whatever. And uh, <laughs> and so we got a smaller cab, and then the head broke, and whatever. Have you tried the Les Paul in it? Uh, no, I want to though. Because it's it's yeah, I've been something. To. I have a, an, an Epi, an, an Epiphone. Uh, it's not it's not a, it's not a Gibson Les Paul, but it's like a top tier uh, Epiphone. Cool. They're really good, and it works really well yeah, with Marshall. It's nice. I've got a '92 Gibson Les Paul. Oh really? Standard, but it's got like fake gold hardware. It's sick. Sounds awesome. Too. Yeah. yeah. I play it every time I go and visit my old man. You know, he, <laughs> he keeps it in the basement. <laughs> and, and they're uh, they're like safety measures. I took it on. I took it on a tour, my first ever tour, and I broke the headstock. Um, don't show oh, this to anybody. I might okay. sell it to, but okay. yeah, the, the headstock broke, and I, I fixed it. This so. is the place. <laughs> messed about with pedals? Yeah, that's actually what we spent the most time investing in. Okay. Uh, we got, we're, what's the actual name for the mastermind? Like a... RJM. It's the RJM mastermind. It's like a controller. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like the brain. And so then you can have, send different signal paths through it and it'll switch on like a bunch of different pedals at once and it sends oh, yeah, yeah. MIDI information so we can sync all the tempos and we can use MIDI controlled reverb pedals and stuff that uh, it just sends it information so we don't have to dial in it the thing every time it's like That's every time it's the same have you guys seen it reminds me of something I've seen on that pedal show on YouTube uh, maybe which is the rig I think it's called the rig yeah, which yeah. kind of does like you keeps that, is? Keep, that show yeah that, yeah. that show I've like, seen that they've, or like they rig rundown thing, or something rig rundown oh, there's, rig rundown, and there's, there's that pedal show I'm plugging like another saying, thing saying, I don't care it's called, a rig. Uh, it's called that pedal show okay, okay. It's, uh, but you guys you know mostly boomer licks but you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, but still awesome, awesome gear.
play now, but um, but <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, Horsehead. Is it in the top five animal heads of horses? Wow. For sure. For sure. Yeah, right. iconic, you know, Godfather, the head in the bed. You can you cannot not think of it, right? Yeah. Like, okay, so it's a threat. A nice big doing? head. We got human is human? up there because like we all like human heads. Uh -huh. Yeah, skulls and shit. Skulls. Uh, uh, praying mantis, I would say. Do they have skulls? That's a good head. They're just. Oh yeah, just, just, just the head, the face. <laughs> a platypus. A platypus. A platypus. Interesting head. Yeah. <laughs> interesting head. They're poisonous. They are. Yeah. yeah. Octopus. They're like Metal all head. Like all head. Yeah. Except their brain is like also in their arms or something. Yeah. 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 They have three hearts. Three? Yeah. I just. Who told you that? Uh, science. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, what, what about you? Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Oh, Hammerhead. Yeah. 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 Okay. We love sharks. <laughs> Fantastic choice. I, I knew. I knew you guys wouldn't let me down. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> Hammerhead. <laughs> Next time. There's still time. Yeah, I guess. There's still time. Do you guys have any skincare routine? Yeah, yes, yeah. you guys do. Yeah, we all, well, yeah, Andrew, not really. I have for a, a long time, I used to have really bad acne, so uh -huh. I went on Accutane, like, I used to be obsessed. Now I just have my thing that works out, but these two have, like, pretty advanced skincare routines because of their wives now. They turn them on to some really high quality products. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What about you? I don't even use soap. <laughs> That's true. When I wash my hands, I do, but not on my face. <laughs> What about you guys? I use an oil-based cleanser because mm -hmm. I have a, it's called um, a true sensitive uh -huh. is what my skin type is. Oh, okay. So uh, if my, my skin gets really dry uh -huh. and then if it gets too dry, then it produces too much oil to compensate uh -huh. and then I break out. So I use oil-based so that it doesn't dry me out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's nice. And what, what would you call? I use a exfoliating cleanser, then I use a serum, and then I use um, I use uh, like skin oil. It's like parsley seed oil, and then oh. I do uh, like a lotion. Yeah. Uh huh. I've I've I thought that whole my my whole life I thought that like I'm never going to take care of my skin ever. I I, I think I'm never going to need to. And then I started doing that like. Seven to eight years ago, and, so, and I can't leave the house without like hydrating and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice, nice to have a it's routine. Really nice. yeah. Yeah. It's all about the routine. Helps me go to bed <laughs> too at night. Also, also not having like your skin crackling. Like, yeah, it's suddenly start, it's routine. <laughs> it's routine. You do it, you know, and like it's a little ritual. I throw water over my face every yeah, day. You have to use water. But I don't use like soap, and it's still like a routine. Yeah, yeah. It's like a part of my day. It's like, it like <laughs> you know, more. It's like a more in-depth routine, and then like you look different when you're done. Your face yeah. is more like radiant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, another thing about skin really game. skin game like do you think that uh, I don't want to be decisive because I think what the song is about I think I know what the song is about or at least I feel like I know what the song is about and I don't really care what things are about uh, either so but what do you think the skin game could be more is it more like chess in terms of game or is it more like tic-tac-toe or another sort of game? It's like gambling all your shit. Gambling yeah. all your yeah. shit. It's yeah. like kind of the ultimate game. The ultimate game, yeah, it's from uh, Burroughs. Oh. And it's like, uh, yeah, the ultimate game. Yeah, it's, it's like Russian game. roulette. Oh, it's like Russian roulette. Okay. Yeah. okay. You, you lose, you lose your life. Yeah. yeah. So like, what's You cannot one? lose. What's the one where he goes and buy, or he sells off everything he owns and all his property and he takes it and bets it on black or something? 
something like that. Uh-huh. Oh, that's like an old Drew Carey joke. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was some British dude. The joke that. was like... It's like, the guy hears a voice in his head, and it's like, sell all your shit, go to Vegas. And he's like, fuck. Like, voice keeps happening. He's like, sell your shit, go to Vegas. He's like, fuck, fine. Sells all his stuff, goes to Vegas. Voice in his head's like, go to the casino. Go to the roulette table. And he's like, all right. And the voice in his head's like, put everything on black. And he's like... All right, here we go. Puts on black, and it comes up red, and the voice in his head goes, "Fuck." <laughs> Cold stand-up act, right, right yeah. here. <laughs> Drew Carey, Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Shout out to Drew Carey. Um, we started had having comedians on this show recently. We had Paul F. Tompkins and uh, and and Janie Janie's wife uh, and uh, and Lorraine Newman from Saturday Night Live and stuff. We've started, yeah, we. We started doing like Zoom calls and with our favorite comedians and like Puff Tom is like my my all time favorite. So so it's really really start, this show has finally become what it is, which is like kind of a comedy show, really. Okay. But uh, but uh, music, you know, my 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 main thing. Okay, music 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 like my favorite art form. Uh, but um, I, aren't I special? <laughs> <laughs> sign off like three things that you're made of would you please name three things that you're made of I think I think Andrew can start this one up yeah. he knows what he's made of uh, quarks uh, I don't know how deep you want to go oh. <laughs> like <laughs> stardust yeah um, and wait what did you say you started deep so I started as almost as deep as you yeah. can get <laughs> there it's like the smashing pumpkin lyric I'm made of star stuff I'm made of, you know what I'm talking about yeah. XYU also I think also Action Bronson like uh-huh. as a descendant from the stars it's only right that I become one hell yeah and, yeah um, but the third thing I don't know uh, sorry. that was the, the second one that was the second one okay you guys don't got none? What? What do you mean? So you're only two things? <laughs> I don't want to hop all three. I, I, got, I could say another no, subatomic particle. Like, <laughs> oh, each one says three. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. me personally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and like crippling fear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How you want? You want to go? Yeah, I mean like, you know, insecurity. And uh-huh. one part insecurity, one part like extreme confidence. Uh-huh. And another part uh-huh. like, like bread. I eat a lot. <laughs> Of bread, yeah. Yeah, especially on this tour. <laughs> bread, chips, and fucking, I don't know. Hummus. I was going to say hummus, but I haven't been eating that much hummus this time. One deep so, bro, bread. <laughs> I'm, I had something and then I lost it. Bread, chips, and hummus? This is what you're going with? Yeah, I mean, okay, that's. That's fine. We're fine with that. That's what, uh, physically, that's what's, that's what's in there. Sounds good to me. <laughs> what would you call? Uh, a lot of urine. <laughs> Urine? What? Urine plus? Urine, uh, and then like, I don't know, maybe... I mean, urine? Urine plus? I urine plus, that. like, uh, I'd say espresso and maybe like, uh, <laughs> the cigarettes I bummed off <laughs> jazz earlier. <laughs> We're done. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. See this microphone? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's him. Now I see. You used to have, for the longest time, like a really stupid bright green uh, oh, cool. sponge. That's and like it used, trademark. Yeah, yeah, it was for a while, but then it got way too dirty, so nice. like... And then, uh, yeah. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was too, too, kind yeah. of not good anymore. Too many, too many but for a while it was. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, sure. yeah. Thank you so much, guys. We just need a, a, like a, 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 a picture for, for the... Uh, 